Hi, and welcome back to the channel. It's true, my name is North, and you may remember I'm slowly getting back into photography. You may also recall that I like to be prepared for every single eventuality, or at least as much as I can. And that obviously is due to the Jedi Master who trained me, who is known as my mum, and she trained me very well. And she's awesome, by the way. In other words, I seldom travel light. So when a local band asks me, North, could you take some photographs of us for an upcoming single we want to release? Of course, I said, yeah, no problem. Although it's gonna take me an age to pack. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through how I went from this and having it absolutely fully loaded to just this for the last photo shoot I did with this band. So as is customary, if you're ready, let's get started. When the local band approached me and said, North, could you take some official photos for us for the single that we're about to release? Of course I said, yes. No problem, there was mutual benefit going on, they would get some photos and I would get some practice. I was very quick to say to them, I'm not the world's greatest photographer, but if you're up for a challenge, then great, let's go for it. But that's where I packed everything that I owned, including the kitchen sink, into this. I absolutely love this bag. This is the Think Tank Urban Access 15. My very trusty bag, my first camera bag in fact, it is superb, I really do love this bag. You can get a small family inside this bag, really it's massive inside. Armstrong released their studio recorded single back in December 2020. We took the photos in October and that's where I took the Think Tank Urban Access 15. I didn't use everything that was in there. Fast forward a few months, the guys approached me again and said, North, we really did like your work back in October. Could you do exactly the same thing for us for our upcoming single? To which I said, absolutely lads. It was at that point that I asked myself a very serious question. Can I take less stuff? So having spent a fair bit of time chatting with the lads, working out locations, time of day, all of that good stuff, I then decided, I think I can probably take up this challenge of taking less stuff, but I needed a different bag. Currently I'm in a local car park, which is absolutely perfect for them because they wanted that kind of external outside industrial look. What I didn't want to do is to bring everything and the kitchen sink to both shooting locations. I couldn't take the urban access because that was too big and I would fail that exercise right from the get-go. Once I'd ascertained the initial information from the guys, it was at that point that I put pencil to paper and figured out exactly what gear I needed to take. Of course, I needed a bag that was lightweight that would keep my gear both safe and dry. Uh, no. Uh, definitely not suitable, no? Absolutely out of the question, are you mad? What? What have you inhaled? No chance, no! I love the look, the functionality, and the design of the Wandered Rome sling, but this wasn't coming out until December 2021, and at the time of this recording, no way Jose, I could not make that happen. So it was back to the drawing board. I did have a look at the usual suspects from Lopro, from Niwa, and also from Manfrotto, but they weren't really moving my furniture, so I needed to look for something else. And this is where I discovered the Think Tank Turnstile series. In this video, I'll cover off a few things that I love about the Think Tank Turnstile 10 V2. I'll also cover off some things that I'm not particularly a fan of, but as you're accustomed to, you'll hear candid, unbiased comments from a Brit. So in terms of configuration for this Think Tank Turnstile 10 V2 bag, it is so simple and easy to use. And for me, you can fit the TARDIS in this thing. It really is quite big. Let me take you through the configuration that I've got set up in the bag. So this is how I've got this particular bag configured. I've got all the gear that I need for this photography project just in here. So I've got my Sony A6400 here, and I brought three lenses with me. So I've got my Sony 18 to 105 f4 lens. Just under here, I've got my Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4, 
and also the 30 millimeter f1.4 just behind here i've got my two variable nd filters this is my higher filter and then just in here i've got my uh, k and f concept filter and they sit beautifully just behind here this tab will sit here if you want this portion of the bag to open a little bit more but equally this tab can sit just around here all of these are configurable i can take these dividers out and move them around if i really do need to and i've also got this additional one that i can use just to cover things up and i actually use that to put the lens caps on or once i've taken my sony uh, a6400 out the lens caps go in there i do like things to be quite tidy You've also got this uh, piece of material here that stops the bag from falling open and all of your wares falling out because no one needs that. We've got a couple of zips. You've got a grab handle here that you can hold on to to move the zip, which is great, and that is just there. And then in this front pocket, if I open this up here, I've got my keys and that's connected to a clip. I've got three batteries in here as well because uh, just in case I've run out of power. Plus, I've also brought with me a battery charger, a dual battery charger to charge the batteries if I'm gonna be out for quite some time. I've got a place to store a pen and I've also got my uh, USB power pack, which is here as well. And that is fully charged, of course, me being prepared and all that. Plus, I've got a few cables in here as well. And then right at the back, beautifully stored And then right at the back here, you've got space to put an 8-inch tablet, but just in here, I've decided to bring uh, a small book that I can use. So that would sit in there quite nicely. Of course, being in the UK, Think Tank have thought about that, and they've got a rain cover that sits in the bottom, which is absolutely wonderful. And that's sewn in so it won't get lost. If you do need to remove it, of course, you can just undo that and you can take it out. But because I'm in the UK, that tends to stay in there. And then there's a pocket where that just slides into. You've also got a belt strap as well, which is good, and that will sit around the middle. And for full flexibility, the belt strap is also removable. Fully loaded for me, the Think Tank Turnstile 10 V2 weighs in at just under three kilos, which is about six and a half pounds. And sat on my back, it's very comfortable. It's obviously designed to fit over your left shoulder. Now, don't get me wrong, you can configure this so you can put it over your right shoulder, if you prefer. It can be worn that way, but it's not particularly comfortable, I would say. It's all right, it's okay for carrying. However, if you do need access to it, as you spin it around, it's not configured in the right way. So this is one to wear over your left shoulder so you can correctly access your gear and get shooting. There's only three dislikes that I have with the Think Tank Turnstile 10 V2. The first is there's no pouch or clip or attachment for a water bottle. The second is very similar in that there's no attachment for a small tripod. And the third, well, it's a real faff getting my ND filters on between my lenses. Although to be fair, that's really not the fault of the Turnstile 10 V2. That's probably where I need to upgrade to better variable ND filters. If you're like me and you're someone who likes to be prepared for every eventuality, in other words, taking the entire kitchen sink when you're going out taking photos, I would seriously consider the Think Tank Turnstile 10 V2. If you've got an APS-C camera like the Sony a6400, for example, 
and you're taking a few lenses, the Think Tank Turnstyle 10 V2 should be on your list of considerations for a small photography bag. And at the price point, it's a real serious contender. Let me know in the comments if you think you would consider the Think Tank Turnstyle 10 V2. I'd be curious to know. You could argue that the team at Think Tank really have got this one in the bag. Oh, come on, you knew that was coming. Gracious, if the boot was on the other foot, you'd do exactly the same as well, right? Surely you would. Of course you would. Anyone would. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description of everything that I used for this photography project. And a massive thank you to the Armstrong Band for allowing me to use their latest single, which is called Home Street Bleeding. You'll be able to find this on iTunes, on Spotify, and all of those great outlets. And that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. As you know, I'm a massive fan of the number three. So if you would, please do three things for me. If you like the content, please do give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. And remember to hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on when I upload brand new content to the channel. Again, thank you for choosing to spend your time here and I'll see you next time.